Seeing everyone as exalted really starts with one short moment at a time. Seeing everything about ourselves as exalted. Just seeing everything about ourselves as relaxed and open and stable. So what we in this training do is that we take short moments of open intelligence. We take short moments of tapping into this innate stability that's there. Tapping into exaltation, just one short moment at a time. And what is open intelligence? If we just stop thinking for a moment, we recognize an alertness, cognizance, what's listening, what's paying attention right now. This is what we call open intelligence, this innate stability. We just come back to that for short moments many times. And in that we come to see that we've been taught in a certain way. We've learned that we need to really pay a lot of attention to our thoughts and emotions. We need to describe them and, and we need to get rid of the ones that are not supposed to be there. And we need to really work on ourselves a lot in this way. So we might come to this training and feel very far from exalted beings. Because we look at our data streams and we, we feel that this doesn't match any kind of idea that we have about exaltation or even what it is to live a good life. Like not these data streams, they're, they're not supposed to be there. So then we just relearn and we see that everything about ourselves is a proof of exaltation. And we don't need to think about that at all. We just come back in short moments many times and we just totally take our time with that. It's a complete shift in the way that we've looked at ourselves. So it might take us a bit by surprise, just like, you know, to live in a certain way, to really work on ourselves and really, really, you know, we, we became probably quite good at that. We really, we came into that habit of com always judging ourselves because of our thoughts and emotions. So then we just take it very easy. If we see ourselves acting out in different ways, if we see ourselves, you know, in certain acting in ways, thinking in ways, behaving in ways that we're, we just feel this is not beneficial. We just relax again. It's, that's what I see in my experience, that it just, for me, it just doesn't happen overnight, that just everything feels like I'm doing everything perfectly for the benefit of all. It's just one short moment at a time. We can just commit to that, one short moment at a time. We just come, in to come back to that power. And we don't want to waste any time on judging ourselves or feeling like we're doing it wrong. You know, it's something completely new that we're learning. We're learning to use our mind in a different way. For, of course, it's going to take, you know, it's going to take some time to really re shift that focus from all the thoughts and emotions, all the data streams, all of this mind flow. We've been focusing so much on that, and now we just focus on this vast space in which all of these data streams come and go. So that's it. It makes it's a huge shift, and it makes a huge difference in our lives, in the way that we live our lives. And one of the thoughts that can come up in, in our mind flow is that I'm not recognizing open intelligence. Or I am recognizing open intelligence. Or I, I am perfectly beneficial or I'm, I'm not doing anything of benefit. So all of these are data streams that will come and go. They will self-release like a line drawn in water. Like a design drawn in space. We can draw up anything, like any, all the worst data streams ever. They will self-release as well. So we can't think ourselves out of open intelligence. So we don't really have to worry about, we don't have to worry about open intelligence, it's just going to be there. All we do is relax and we just come back to that. And it's so, so amazing to see that boredom can be so afflictive. There's so much energy in boredom can get so much done when you're bored, if you just let that energy be as it is. I've done the service coordination at the center in Sweden and just feeling so bored, just doing it. 
is feeling really afflicted, not have, you know, like no data, motivation and excitement. But you just get everything done. And there's just such a relaxation and enjoyment in boredom when you just let it be as it is. It's just the descriptions that we, you know, because all of this energy comes up and we don't really know what it is, so we keep on, we start describing it because it feels so like, ah, oh, there's so much energy here, I probably should describe it in some way. Is it boredom? Am I nervous? Am I afflicted? Am I really happy or excited or what is it? But we really don't have to give all of these thoughts and emotions any kind of label. We can just let them be as they are completely. And then relaxing with boredom. We just start doing things, or we don't, we can just do something else. But we don't have to describe the energy in any way, or that the data streams in any way. So we don't have to have any, any kind of specific thought to receive the full empowerment of this training. We just come here and we relax and then the empowerment takes place. <coughs> so it's really a, a genius structure where everything, you know, all the work has been done for us so we can just sit back and relax. Just all the, everything is really taken care of in the Four Mainstays. We just show up and then we, we're open and we, we just receive the empowerment that is, that is proven and, and guaranteed to happen there. It's the same with the concerts that we have, with the Massive Vibe Live. There is just guaranteed complete empowerment. You just show up and then it just happens. And it's really been amazing for me to reflect on, on the founder of, of Balanced View and the, the woman who is producing all the music and the, the songs for Massive Vibe Live, the Candice. I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna have an organization like that, if you really want to, if you have a vision about open intelligence for all, about everyone knowing about their innate perfection and their stabi innate stability, then of course everything is gonna come up along the way. So we can just really reflect on and see how amazing it is when other people have been able to just let everything be as it is and stick through to their vision and their commitment. And just to see the amazing results that come from that. To not stop at anything. You know, we might see on the, on the Massive Vibe Live there are many men on stage, but there's a woman behind who is producing all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's usually like many men behind the stage and then the women on stage. But here it's just like a woman who just knows all about everything and she's just directing everything from behind the scenes. Pretty good. <laughs> you can take a moment to experience the complete relaxation in boredom if you're feeling bored. <laughs> While I look at the questions. <laughs> I've seen that when I've rested with really um, very, very afflictive states, that's when I really feel like I open up for like true compassion. Because you feel everything that everyone feels. It's like there's no avoidance in this training, we just feel everything fully. So then when you feel everything fully and it's like, it's so real and it's so intense and then you just remember that, wow, not everybody knows that this is actually totally fine and that there is nothing in this that can get me or... I feel that that's really 
compassion, then you really want everyone to know that that they're fine in, in all kinds of data streams because you see it yourself. Like you feel all the worst afflictions that you thought this is like this is it, this is the worst. And then you see there's complete openness there and that you actually that there that there really is actually like well being and peace and relaxation also in those data streams. Which has taken for me a long time to really see with many and sometimes it can be really convincing for a moment that open intelligence is gone. But then we just relax again and open up for that compassion for ourselves where you know it doesn't matter, it doesn't feel, I don't feel like I have to come get anywhere or I'm, I will always just keep on taking short moments and come back to that. I'm not here to take so many short moments so I don't need the training, you know. It's an amazing training, it will always give us more and more and more. All the trainings, I mean, just all the trainings that we do, it just keeps on being more and more amazing because we open up for our innate wisdom. So it's not about learning something, learning a few words and then taking off, repeating those to yourself. It's just opening up to a whole other world and a whole, whole other world, way of living life where everything can be seen as a teaching, no matter what it is. If we just relax and we don't describe it, it's, it's a perfect teaching. <laughs>